Hey guys, so, well, so it is Sunday, March 12th, so that means it's actually the first time we move our clocks forward, so also known as spring forward, which the only bad part about it is that we lose an hour of sleep. So, thought I'd do an update video. This is the monthly update video. This one is for the month of March. Hard to believe we're, we are already in March. So I'm actually filming this with my digital camera, the Canon PowerShot A1000, because my, my HD camera, the batteries are dead on it. I just forgot to charge it earlier. So just for for this video, I'm just using it. And nothing yet, no sign of life yet on the pecan tree. It usually doesn't show no life on it usually till April. But my dad did. Uh, did some more trimming on it though so it looks like that this year we, won't, we shouldn't have any more limbs that will hang down real low which in that case I always would have to duck down in this area whenever I would cut the grass and so here's another pecan tree Here's our garlic plants. Some areas of our of the grass here in the backyard is kind of looking a little overgrown. Actually right here was a little overgrown right here and I actually just mowed it. I just took the Lawn Boy 10606 out and just mowed this around along here because it was a little tall. The cannas, the old cannas were finally cut down by my dad. And here are the new cannas that are growing. And here's our shop vac. My dad bought this shop vac, I would say maybe three or four years ago at Costco. It's a Stanley. Good little shop vac. I've been using it on vacuuming out the cars. As a matter of fact, I just washed one of them. And it's my mother's car. I washed it. So I'll definitely do my truck tomorrow. It is really dirty, as you can definitely see. I'm starting to get it. Kind of hard to tell from the reflection here. Yeah, you can see right there. Look at all that that pollen. I hate hate that stuff. This stuff makes me sick every year, or almost every year. So I still gotta put my stuff away so yeah so it's around this time now I gotta wash the cars about usually every week because it usually within after a couple of days there'll be some pollen dust coming down So let's go out back. <coughs> I'll need to get that back in the storage building. I'll do that here in a second. And nothing much to really see, only except my pressure washer is now finally 
up and running. After sitting in storage for, oh god, a year and a half. So, just when I, back when I was at my grandparents' farm, when, just when I came back home from their farm, I grabbed my, I grabbed this thing out just to at least see if it would start. In about maybe five or six pulls, it finally started. Mainly because of while I was at my grandparents' farm, my grandfather has also has a pressure washer, just like this one, just exactly like it. That I've y'all probably seen it from the previous video that I took when I was at the farm. Only little difference on my grandfather's pressure washer is the wheels. It has a five-spoke wheels. This one here, as you see, it's three-spoke wheel. But everything else is pretty much the same. Same engine. I went to go uh, start up my grandfather's pressure washer, and it didn't. It wouldn't start. He wanted me to start it because he he hadn't used it in quite a while. I would assume it probably set about as long as this one did. So if I get a chance to go back to my grandparents' farm, I'll definitely need to do some. I'll take a look at the carburetor on it which is fairly easy to get to because I actually did check the carburetor on this one and it was all clean and let's go in here here's all the lawn equipments you probably do notice that the Craftsman mower, the red one with the Honda engine it's not here, it's at my grandparents' house the grandparents on my dad's side of the family. I'm just using it uh, for over there temporarily to cut their grass until I can get my grandfather's lawn boy 10604 fixed up. I don't have it here right now. It's just because right now I'm currently working on my my grandfather's generator, which, as you can see, it's got no carburetor on it. in that, that video that I that did just on getting the carburetor off yeah you can actually see all that all that corrosion on the carburetor so I probably could maybe try to clean this one if I could but it's not really worth my time to do it and besides I don't know if it would even it might not even run properly or not run at all with me just trying to salvage this carburetor so I'm just gonna get a new carburetor for it just throw it throw a new carburetor on it and it should be good so that's all that's all she stands for that so I'm thinking about maybe next weekend to do the first lawn cutting video for uh, this year. I've had some requests uh, between the Lawn Boy 10606 and the Craftsman mower with the Honda engine, but since I think instead I'm going to use the, the Lawn Boy, I think I'll just use the 10606. Since I don't have the Craftsman mower here, I will feature it in another lawn cutting video probably once I bring it back home probably maybe the April lawn cutting video or May either one of those here's some empty jugs that I had here just to have for emptying out the fuel tank on my grandfather's generator it had probably about I would assume maybe a little bit under one and a half gallons in that fuel tank. So this container right here, as y'all just saw in that video, but I'm just going to show you all that again. You see that little blob there on the very bottom? That is water. And the rest of it is just fuel. 
you can tell for sure that this fuel is old just by the color of it because the color of a fresh fuel is usually not this dark of a gold color it's usually a lighter gold color but yeah that's what ethanol does so yeah the sun finally came out today so I was able to actually set this thing out in the sun to kind of dry out the fuel tank still is not quite dry yet but it's almost there I think it's supposed to be all sunny tomorrow so I think tomorrow I'll bring this thing back out in the sun and let it dry up some more I think by adding the Hotshot Secret Diesel Extreme into the fuel tank may have helped a lot, helped remove a lot of the water in the fuel tank. So I'm gonna, I will do a little bit of a, a I'll kind of flush it out a little bit though until I uh, get the carb, get the new carburetor thrown on it. And hopefully this thing will run so that my grandfather can use it again in case of a power outage. Alright, so that's it for the update video. So, hope you all enjoyed it. So, thanks for watching.